Hi, my name is Antonio, and today I'll be explaining what GMOs are and how they are made. GMOs stand for genetically modified organisms. This basically means that GMOs are different from their wild versions. An example of a GMO is corn, which in the wild produces way less than the genetically modified version of it. As you may already know, an organism is a living thing. This means that a GMO is a genetically modified living thing. You may also know that modified means changed. Now, this means that a GMO is a genetically changed living thing. Here's the big question. What does the genetically part mean? Well, the root in genetically is gene, and genes are pieces of DNA that determine the traits of an organism. But what is DNA? DNA is basically information contained in strings of code made of four letters, A's, C's, T's, and G's, with each letter corresponding to a different chemical building block. Now, we know that a GMO is an organism with changed DNA or genetic characteristics from their wild relatives. You may still be wondering how they actually make the GMOs. Well, they used to do it by breeding two of the organisms that have some of the genes or traits that they wanted to have together in one single organism. For example, if they have a sweet small tomato and a bitter large tomato, then they would have to breed or cross these two different tomato plants and hope that some of the offspring would have all of the right traits that they wanted. However, if you wanted a large sweet tomato that does not get soft when it ripens, but you only have a large sweet tomato and a poisonous wild tomato that does not get soft when it ripens, it would most likely not work to randomly breed them because you only need one trait from the poisonous wild tomato. If it did, it would take a long, long time. For example, if you wanted all the threes in a deck of cards and you have all but one of them, it would be very inefficient to reshuffle all of them and try to get all of them again by luck. Because of this, biologists do it by getting the correct DNA from one plant and placing it into the other's genome. If we were using our card scenario, this would be like finding the one three that was left and putting it with the other threes. This is a much more efficient strategy. Another way of creating GMOs is by first knowing what the correct ACTG code is for the new trait. Then, we would create synthetic DNA with that code. Finally, we would find the gene responsible for the trait we would want to change in our organism and replace it with our artificial DNA. Thanks for watching. If you liked the video, please smash that thumbs up and subscribe button. If you didn't, please let me know what I can improve on. Also, let me know how you feel about GMOs in the comment section down below. Bye!